Good morning, this is Susan, and this is Susan's Ramblings. We're back with recipes again. These are old recipes for the majority of them, and they're recipes that are where you have things that are very, are very uh, available at this time of the year. Georgia Gumbo, four slices of bacon, one large onion chopped, two cups of fresh tomatoes peeled and chopped, two cups of fresh cooked corn, two cups of okra chopped, one tablespoon of sugar, salt and pepper to taste. Fry your bacon in a heavy fry pan. Remove and save most of the bacon grease. Cook the onion in bacon grease. Add the remaining ingredients and cook until thick enough to eat with a fork. Georgia Gumbo, 1950 recipe. 1913 Carrot Marmalade. Scald and rub the skins from the carrots. Put carrots through a food processor. No, they didn't have a food processor at that time. They used the meat grinder. For each pint of pulp, add melt juice and rind and rind from one lemon. For each mixture of carrot pulp and lemon, pour two, three and two thirds cup sugar over. Let it stand overnight. In the morning, boil until clear and as here's well cooked. Ladle into jelly jars and water bath 10 minutes. Yes, I know I've changed, changed the uh, directions here. They didn't do that in 1913, okay? Black bean and sausage soup. Four cans of black beans rinsed and drained. Eight cups of beef stock. Two pounds of boneless ham cut into chunks. Two pounds of Italian sausage cut into chunks. Two pounds of smoked sausage cut into chunks. Two pints of cherry tomatoes. Two onions chopped. Two green peppers chopped. Two teaspoons of red pe pepper flakes. My mouth is not working today. Six tablespoons of minced garlic. One fourth teaspoon of grated orange peel. Chop cilantro or parsley to taste, and lime juice to taste, which is optional. Combine all ingredients in a large stock pan. Bring to a boil and turn off. Ladle in the jars with a one head, one inch head space. Pressure cook your pints 75 minutes, or your quarts 90 minutes. Instead of canned or black beans here, I would use uh, dry beans. Oh, that's the way I work, okay? Sausage, cabbage, and vegetable soup. Two and a half pounds of Italian sausage cut into chunks. One head of cabbage sliced thin. Three fourths cups of carrots sliced. Five garlic cloves chopped. One and a half cups of apple juice. Three Granny Smith's apples peeled and chopped. Four tablespoons of vinegar, three toma tomatoes peeled and chopped, and salt and pepper to taste. Put all ingredients in a large stock pan, bring to a boil, reduce heat, simmer for 15 minutes. You ladle in the jars with one inch head space. First you cook pint 75 minutes and quarts 90 minutes. I make a lot of soups and I can them because they're an easy meal. I just have to open up the jar and I've got my add some bread or maybe a salad and I've got my my <coughs> excuse me, I've got my um meal. Hot dog chili. You know this one sounds good. One, I was looking for hot dogs in this, but no, it's it's chilly to go over hot dogs, okay? Or even I got mixed up on this one. One and a half pounds of ground beef or turkey, one onion chopped, one heaping teaspoon of minced garlic, and water to cover. One heaping tea tablespoon of paprika, one heaping tablespoon of chili powder, one heaping tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, one heaping teaspoon of black pepper, 
one heaping teaspoon of salt, one heaping teaspoon of mustard, and one and a half cups of ketchup. Sauté your onion, add the minced garlic, add hamburger and begin to break up. You cover with water and continue to break up. You bring to a boil and reduce heat to a simmer. You reduce water by half for cook it for an hour to two hours. Add your spices and condiments and allow the simmer for one hour. Got your hot dog chili. You know, I think this would be something like a can. Since I got lots of chili, I got, got, I got hamburger. <coughs> they was on sale this week. Hamburger and pork and chicken. So I stocked up uh, and I'm talking to myself. But you know, this one would probably be a good uh, thing to can in small joys. And then I could just uh, grab one and put it over my hot dog or whatever I want to use it for. Cornmeal mush. One cup of cornmeal, one cup of cold water, one teaspoon of salt, and four cups of boiling water. Mix together the cornmeal, the cold water, and the salt. Pour boiling water in top of a double boiler. Slowly stir in the cornmeal mixture. Cook over high heat for three minutes. Cook and cover and steam for about 20 minutes. Serve hot with maple syrup. If there's any left, shape in the patties and fry them up. I have a lot of old recipes here, okay? Because that's what I was looking for. I was looking for um, recipes where I could use just the shelf-stable pantry where I wouldn't have to go out and buy anything. Because I think that's what we're probably coming to. Uh, tomato salsa. One ten ounce can of whole tomatoes undrained, three fourths cup of white vinegar, one and a half large onion chopped, one and a half tablespoons of salt. Excuse me. Excuse me. Three garlic cloves minced, or three fourths teaspoon of garlic powder. Eight to ten jalapeno peppers seeded and chopped. If you don't want them seeded, if you want more heat, uh, don't remove the seed. Two teaspoons of red chili flakes, one and a half tablespoons of crushed dried oregano, one half, one third cup of cilantro, it's optional, two and a fourth tablespoons of chili powder. Chop the tomatoes up with a food processor a little at a time. Place your chopped tomatoes into, stock, into a stock pan. Add the vinegar, chopped onion, salt, minced garlic, minced jalapenos, red chili flakes, oregano, and chili powder. Add the cilantro if, if desired. Mix well. Allow the mixture to set for 30 minutes. Bring the tomatoes to a boil, stirring constantly. Simmer for 10 minutes. Ladle into a hot, sterilized jar and water bath for 30 minutes at a full rolling boil. Tomato salsa. Coal miners or cake. One box of devil food cake mix. One can of cherry pie filling. Two eggs. One teaspoon of vanilla. One cup of sugar. One stick of butter. One fourth cup of evaporated milk. Six ounces of chocolate chips. One and a half cups of pecans. Optional. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Combine your cake mix, cherry pie filling, eggs, and vanilla in a mixing bowl and mix well. Prepare a 9 by 13 inch pan by spraying it with non thick cooking spray. Pour the batter into the cake pan and bake at 30 to 350 degrees for 35, 30 to 35 minutes or until test done. In a saucepan over medium-low heat, melt the butter. Add the evaporated milk and sugar. Cook over low heat. Add chocolate chips. Bring to a low boil and boil one minute during constantly. Pour the hot mixture over the cake immediately after removing the cake from the oven and sprinkle with pecans if desired. Coal miner. 
cake mix cookies. One package of cake mix, any flavor. Two eggs, one half cup of oil. Combine all ingredients, mix well. Drop the cookies with a teaspoon onto a cookie sheet with parchment paper. Bake at 350 degrees for 11 to 15, 14 minutes or until test done. We like to do sticker doodles by that time. A white cake mix, a yellow cake mix, and then uh, with the cinnamon topping on top. Fudge sauce. Two cups of sugar, two thirds cups of cocoa powder, six tablespoons of flour, one teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of butter, two cups of milk, two teaspoons of vanilla. Mix the sugar, cocoa powder, flour, and salt together. Add the milk. Do constantly until the mixture is still hot and thickened, and you add your butter and vanilla. Do until the butter has melted, place in covered jars, and refrigerate. <coughs> Use any ice cream or any other food. Sweet and sour sauce. Three-fourths cup sugar. Four tablespoons of ketchup. Two, one and a half cup of white vinegar. One tablespoon of soy sauce, one teaspoon of garlic salt. Mix all ingredients together in a small saucepan. Heat over medium high heat until thoroughly heated and thickened. Sweet and sour sauce. Bean, ham, and veggie soup. Two pounds of beans soaked overnight. Then I note here I use pinto beans. One large can of diced tomatoes undrained. That would be 28 ounces. One, or oh, I use a quart of my home canned tomatoes. One eight ounce can of tomato sauce. One can of cream style corn. One can of whole corn or corn. One onion diced. Two carrots diced. One smoked turkey leg. Two smoked ham hocks. Two chicken bouillon cubes or the tomato chicken cubes. Water to cover all ingredients. You got 16 to 20 cups. Parsley to taste, minced garlic to taste, thyme to taste, and basil to taste. Soak the beans overnight with water, enough water to cover all. In the morning, drain the beans well with fresh water. Uh, drain the beans, rinse well with fresh water, and cover the beans again with fresh water. Add the remaining ingredients with enough water to cover all. Cook until the beans and the meat is done. Remove the meat from the beans and remove the meat from the bones. Return meat back to the soup and ladle in the hot, sterilized jars. Crush a can pint 75 minutes and quarts 90 minutes. Meat pies. One and a half pounds of ground beef, a fork, one and a half, one half pound of ground beef, two potatoes, um, boiled and slightly mashed, one medium onion chopped, one and a half tablespoons of poultry seasoning, one teaspoon of mace, salt and pepper to taste, and you have four five crust and bread. This is 24, I don't believe it's 24. It's four of them. You make, uh, should be able to make four, uh, two pies out of this. Sauté meat with onions. Drain excess grease and season. Add your potatoes. Mix thoroughly. Put the mixture into two pie crusts. And top with the second pie crust. Cut in steam bank. Bake at 350 degrees for 40 minutes or until test done. Meat pies. Get that crossed out so I don't get goofed up next time. Okay. Oh, I came up to the recipe I wanted to stop with. And I'm going to make this today. Going to try it anyway. No need sandwich bread. Three cups of flour. One teaspoon of sugar. One teaspoon of salt. One fourth teaspoon of yeast. Now that doesn't quite seem right, but anyway, uh, one and a half cups of water. 
one tablespoon of vegetable oil, one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Combine the flour, sugar, salt, and yeast in a bowl. Mix thoroughly. Add the water, the vegetable oil, and the apple cider vinegar to flour mixture. Mix well. Pour the batter into a greased loaf pan. Cover with a damp cloth. Let rest for five, four to five minutes. Bake to 350 degrees for 45 minutes or until test done. I am going to use my, um, oi, oi, whey that I have. I made, uh, cottage cheese yesterday, last night, and it turned out terrific, and I will never buy another cheese like that in the store again. Uh, all you do is boil your water, a gallon of milk, and a gallon of water, a gallon of milk, any kind of milk, to a hundred and, um, I don't boil it. For, to start again, for the cheese, I used a gallon of milk. I used a gallon of whole milk this time. And I heated it to it reached 120 degrees. I turned, took it off the heat. I added three-fourths cup of vinegar. And I stirred gently, I put a cover on it, and I walked away for 30 minutes. And when I came back, I had beautiful cottage cheese. I drained it, so I have all the whey left, and I mean I've got lots of whey left. So I am looking for bread recipes that I can use to test it out with. So this is one of the recipes I'm going to try. Have a great day. That's it for today. Have a great day. God bless. Bye-bye.